Right. We are back and we are ready to beat the shit out of some box today. Maybe I should be a little bit more careful with how I word things. Loop station battle. Enemy versus Brez. I've heard both of these dudes before. I'm pretty sure both of them had gotten me to jump out of my seat at some point. Like, oh! It's never scripted, by the way. It's never scripted. It's just, it just, it just, it just happens. It's instinctual. But I know a bunch of returning viewers here. You guys enjoy these videos because I break it down from a music production perspective. We both have two ears, but our ears work differently. I was created in a lab in Guam in somebody's basement. Why doesn't anybody believe me? I'm not crazy. Now, if you're here for the first time, my name is Joey Nato. I'm actually a rapper, music producer, and a YouTuber. Also a Twitch streamer. Streaming over on Twitch. Why do I always say it? That's so obvious. But make sure to come through for a Twitch stream. I'll, I'll say hi to you. But I I, I, I think that's pretty much it. It, it. It's finally time. Lucky squad never give up. Let's get into it. One, two, buckle my shoe. All right, here we go. Oh. Uh. Nothing to worry about. Every, everything's okay. We're getting into it. We got Brez versus Enemy. You already know what to do, ladies and gentlemen. Let's I'm go. The first time I say it tonight. Are you ready? Yeah, yes. Yes, I am. Three minutes on Brez. I say the twa. You say the dun, the uh. Ladies and gentlemen, twa. Dun, nah. Beatbox. Did I get that right? Is it dun, uh, or dun, nah? Can I try again? Interesting. Starting with a hi-hat. So he knew he wanted to go at that pace, so that's why he started with the hi-hat. A lot of depth to that sound, too. It already sounds pretty gritty. The That's the rim shot snare. Kick got some bounce to it. Oh, he layered his kick with a bass to give it more sub, give it more punch. Very simple robotic synth type sound here. The crazy part is he's creating this with his voice. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. It's the same melody over and over, but sometimes those are the ones that go the hardest. Kind of taking the place of a synth bass. Boom, boom, boom. Oh! 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 The subby bass line. Oh, we're spitting? Nice. <laughs> the tone switch, okay. Hey. Okay, the distortion that we got in there for this build up here before the beat comes back in again, which it's inevitably going to do, right? This is pretty lit. And he's doing he's doing all he can to get the the fans on his side right now. Crowd control, big part about performing. But I know I've heard this before, bro. And the way I know I've heard this, it must have been in a uh, one of those loop compilations that I reacted to. But yeah, I I don't remember how it sounds when the beat drops, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty similar. <laughs> The, what, who was he calling a b stuff? <laughs> if it was enemy, enemy's ha handling it well. Maybe he's calling us a b Eighth note. Boom, 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 boom. I like how he cuts it off. Woo, look at his energy, boy. <laughs> Bro, you can tell he was looking forward to the rapping part of this. He's got great stage presence. Wow, 
kind of like a phaser that he put on this synth here. Wow. You hear that? Ooh. Okay, so 30 second notes on the hi-hats, making it have like that really rapid skip. Like, I, I can't do it that fast. Can humans do it that fast? I don't know. I can't. Maybe the dopest beatboxers in the world could do a 30 second note hi-hat. Yeah, I can't. It just always comes out at 16th. Anyways, that's just the speed. Don't worry about it. But then that little harmony that he has there with those high notes descending. It's a nice touch at the end here, almost like a little outro melody. And everything was so low and heavy. Ooh, he had a little filtered out distortion beat underneath too. Like, oosh, eh, eh, eh. Whatever the hell that was. That was lit. That's how you start the round, boy. Round boy. <laughs> three minutes on enemy. I said three, you said do it in the Uno. Pray! Dos, oh no, but beatbox. Okay. That's the open hat there. People seem to like that open hat. Probably because it sounded so much like an actual open hat that's on a, a drum kit, sim like a, like an actual symbol on a drum set. Harsh kick, super, th th that snare is pounding through. All these sounds have a pretty short release on them, which is cool. Oh, delay effect. Oh, he's arpeggiating those notes now. Are we going to space? Bro, that's so smooth! Reverb delay up there. So yeah, to answer your question, yeah, uh, humans can do 30 second note hi-hats. I'm just gonna just stay in my place here. <laughs> That's a crazy hi-hat pattern. I almost said it was a sick pattern, and I don't say sick. So, he almost got me out of character. A little tribal chant here, harmony. Bass is gonna come through soon, right? Okay, filter effect with a ton of bass. Is he distorting the bass vocal? My boy got a vision. <laughs> There's your phaser right there. I wonder of something great. My lungs will feel and then deflate. They feel with fire, exhale desire. I know it's down my time today. I have this thought so often I yard to live as last with one of those bars. Cause somebody stole my car radio and now we'll just sit in silence. Wow. But you know, sometimes try this violent. I find it hard to have him a pride and slow. Like the beside it's on my Okay. Okay. I like how we brought the harmonies back in. I, I guess I would prefer the, the, the harmony of the tribal chant to be a little bit more in the background. You know what I mean? So he's not fighting to, to, to be louder than it with his vocals personally, but. His mic is distorted too. I wonder if that's on purpose. Is this a build up with that eighth note or sixteenth note? That, 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 that. Meanwhile, that arpeggio. Oh! I was not expecting that piercing sound there. Oh, clean.
that's the selling point for me right there, bro. I'm a sucker for when they reprise a melody from the beginning. Like, okay, we're at a different section of the beat. We're at a different section of the song. But I didn't forget about the core. I didn't forget about how we built up the whole song to get to this point. And what I mean by that is the... The first thing that had the crowd going crazy. He brings it back in. Like, I didn't forget about this. This still fits here. This still works. <laughs> the power of a repeated note over and over used right. Thank you. He didn't even use all his time. He didn't need it. Dope first round. You see the done uh twa Done uh uh beatbox done uh beatbox. Sound like that. Okay. Kind of like a chain smokers type tempo here. Look at that. I coined a, a group of having their own tempo. <laughs> Layered the. Uh, ooh. Little skipping snares here. Usually this, that's only used for a drum fill. Not over and over and over. Oh, but it works out because we jumped out or we dropped out the other drum beat. I spoke too soon. Nice. All right, the way he's making his voice sound lower there, he's using a semitone pitcher. Uh, I don't know how to not pitcher like like. Damn, you look good today. Let me pour this lemonade all over you. What is happening right now? Why did it have to be lemonade too? Now it sounded weird. Anyways, he pitched it down. A pitcher tool to pitch down his voice. A few semitones, which basically means it gets lower. <laughs> Sixteenth note, tie hat. Oh, nice flow here. Oh, that is gas pedal, bro. I haven't heard that song in long ass time. Bro, took it back. Back. Lean back. Lean back. Lean back. <laughs> yeah, I was always awkward in the club. <laughs> okay, and he actually got low. That's commitment to the craft, bro. That's commitment to the craft. You're not the one that's supposed to get low, but he still got low. I respect it. This is just a pretty simple hip hop beat that he has playing in the background. He's pretty much, if he if he ends up winning this round here, it's definitely because of vocal performance. You know what I mean? Which I don't know how much, like, I don't know if there's like a percentage thing, like how much your vocal performance and rapping has to do with how many points you get in the eyes of the judges or how much leeway you get with the eyes of the judges, but it's interesting. He's using it to his advantage. All right, do we have a second half of this here? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. It was all set up. Sheesh! That raspy synth. Shakers. Nice. This guy understands texture of sounds and the importance of it. The breath off the beat. Yep. That's what DJ Mustard does a lot in his beats. Ooh, pitch down. Oh! Oh, it's so dysfunctional. I don't even know how to nod my head to that. Cause it's like, din, 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 din. it's not three fourths time. Nothing like that, but it definitely has a certain swing to it. <laughs> Bro, this, this is an amazing sense of rhythm this guy's got.
I love that. I love that melody there. My boy's stage presence is crazy. W. Good job, Brez. Yes, Brez. Have my babies, Brez. With the response, last round of battle. It's on enemy from Italy. He's making sure he's ready to go. Oh, he's from Italy. So it wasn't Dose. I say the Dre, you say the Dre and the Uno. Dre. Oh, Dre Uno. Beatbox. My ancestors are going to be pissed at me. Ooh. Chris clap. Maybe like a little ghost snare underneath to make it hit a little harder. Light kick, making it sound a little heavier here by putting in a little bit more bass into it. Oh boy, he sounds like a little church boy. He loves his layered harmonies. My boy got a style. Four part? He's making a whole choir on stage. Who ain't our family? <laughs> I got all beatboxes with me. I got all my beatboxes with me. Creative, I like it. Oh, did he put a chorus flanger on his voice? You hear how his voice sounds double? Sometimes a flanger can help you accomplish that. Nice! Four to the floor! It makes it sound so groovy. Sorry, gotta use that word. Makes it sound so groovy when you have the bass line just chime in, little notes, little staccato, short notes, right at the top of the uh, at the top of each measure. So the the bass line isn't going all throughout the measure. You're just hearing those little chimes of the bass come in. Like it just it just does something to the groove of the song. Oh, my boy sound like a Motown singer. I didn't know they did Motown in Italy. <laughs> that seems to be the case. Hey, hey, hey. Just bass line, four to the floor beat, and vocal. But then he's chopping up the background vocals in the background. How do you have the ability to control all these moving parts at once? This multitasking is crazy! Whoa. What's that called when you're arbiter? I think that's what it's called when you move your mouth a certain way. Are you shaping a certain way? I could be getting that wrong. Correct me if I got that word wrong. Now he's creating like a guitar strat. Like that funky guitar. Rise up with the vocal chop. Oh! <laughs> I did not see that coming. That was a dope build up to this. Seven, eight. Nine. Five and six afraid of seven. That bass line is still there at the top of the measure. And that's time. Oh. That was fucking fire. How we took that staccato note. Just pitching up, down, up, down. It's anybody's. It's anybody's game. But Brez heavy, I feel like enemy's gonna win this. You know what I don't like about watching these videos when it's time to vote is I feel like recency bias is a thing. I'm coming fresh off of just hearing enemies round. And we're so quick to forget what the other competitors round sounded like and how we felt during that. But that was 
Oh, he was he had that one in the holster. <laughs> he was waiting for that one. He was waiting to use that one. I'm assuming enemy wins this. Rez's speeds were crazy though. I feel like enemy won this round. I don't think he won the first round. Give it up. But keep showing Wait, what just happened? Are they gonna go against each other again? Okay, enemy won. <laughs> I'm looking at this trying to figure out what the fuck. Too many hands. Brez is a stunning beatboxer. Enemy is an artist. Bro, Brez is a fucking artist. What? I'm in awe. Yeah, I feel like they're usually there's more like like hugging and, and, and like kissing and like 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 you know what I mean like face touching and stuff like after these battles. So I'm I'm confused. Do they battle again or is it is that over? Is Brez going home after that? I don't know. You guys let me know. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. I don't know. I got a little confused there at the end. Maybe I'm just baffled by everything I just saw. Maybe I put my sunglasses on. It'll be less embarrassing. And it'll feel like you guys aren't here. Nah, it still feels like it. All right, well, that didn't work. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, let me know which one you want to see next with the Loop Station and Beatbox Battles. Let me know. Scream it loud and proud. And leave a like on the video. I never say that. It sounds weird, but I kind of like it. Yeah, leave a like on the video. Do it, yeah. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one.